Welcome back to another episode of Times Record News Brew Review. I'm your host, Orlando Flores, with co-host Chris Collins. And we are joined today by a very special guest, Greta, with Lakewood Brewing Company out of Garland. If you've seen our previous episodes, you know that we did review the Lion's Share 4 mm -hmm. from Lakewood Brewing, which is a barrel-aged quadruple, Belgian quadruple, correct? Mm -hmm. um, if you've seen that, you knew that me and Orlando, we both had rave reviews for this particular yes. beer. Thank really you enjoyed it. Um, now we're at Back Porch Draft House, where they're having a pint night tonight, Wednesday. Um, but we want to tell you a little bit more about this beer, uh, in case you haven't had a chance to have it yet. So yeah, for, yeah, for those that haven't watched the video previously, Greta is going to fill us in a little bit. <laughs> what exactly is Lion's Share 4? So Lion's Share 4 is our, is our fourth anniversary beer. We turned four this year. Um, and lion's share is a term that's used to describe like the best cut. It's the first cut of the meat. It's the it's what the lion takes. Mm -hmm. So we saved this. We did this as a um, as a you know kind of a thank you for supporting us for the year. And it's we wanted to show kind of the cool stuff that we can do. Um, and we've done some really fun ones in the past. We did a oh lion's share one was a <laughs> imperial IPA barrel aged in bourbon barrels Ooh, it was insane oh, wow. like it was yeah. all the things kind <laughs> of and then we did a berliner vice with black currants for our second one and our third one was an old ale aged in uh red wine barrels that we can't talk about but uh we can one of these days ask me guys and <laughs> okay. then uh, so this year <laughs> secret barrels secret, secret barrels, barrels. Uh, we got a lot of those secret ingredients on the show true. actually um but this year we did a brandy barrel aged Belgian quad um, and some of the fun things that that brandy did to this beer first of all you get a lot of cherry and you get a lot of yes. fig and you get a lot of dried fruit um, I get a little bit of like a poached like a poached brandy poached pear or a brandy poached apple or something along those lines that it kind of draws that fruit mm -hmm. um, but actually just to double check <laughs> yeah go ahead and take another they're safe and sorry, right? <laughs> right? A lot of sweet caramel. We use Belgian candy and sugar, which gives that beautiful, that caramely flavor as well as the malts and everything. It's not too, it's not too thick. It's not too viscous. It's still light enough that you can enjoy it, but I like it a little warmed up. I want to make sure that y'all don't, don't drink this too cold. You'll miss some of those really good nuances. Um, but I, you know, if you need to just give it a little hug, give a hand hug <laughs> and then enjoy it. Comes in at a whopping 12.4% yeah. ABV. Um, East of a beer. It's high. You gotta do what you gotta do to say, you mm -hmm. know, for anniversary. Do you, you know gotta what the IBUs out. are on it? IBUs are 37, I believe, okay. and the tw SRM is 20. So not super high. Mm -hmm. not, not high at all. Um, but this is a fantastic beer. I'm real, I'm real proud of it this year. A lot of people have gone crazy, but what we did too is we did a super special glass, which you can get today. Yes. Um, you will notice it is a gold leaf. It's a beautiful little glass to add to your collection, and they will have some it's here. Handsome glass. Handsome. Well, if it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> or pretty. I don't want to assign. I don't want to assign a you can't, pink you can't assign. gender You can't assign. You can't assign either. It's a gorgeous glass. How's oh, that? Yeah. <laughs> and it matches. Uh, you know, so, and y'all, you guys also did something else special this year for the first time, which was bottling it. Yes. And that's how we ended up getting to taste it before it was here on tap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exciting. We're, um, the bottles have done really well. Uh, I know the local boys got some, so we're real excited that they're mm -hmm. gonna have that to share with y'all. Go get them while they're still around, because we will not make this again. So yeah, it's always been a kind of a tradition that y'all only do this one time to commemorate, and that's it. So was there a reason for you guys to decide, hey, let's go ahead and bottle it? this year to kind of spread it out more or what was behind that? We had so many people requesting them every year. They say, hey, where, did, did, where can we get this in bottles? And we, you know what, it just made sense to give it a go and let people let people get a hold of it that way. Um, and also, when you taste this, you're gonna taste, this is something that you can lay down for a little while. Like it can, yes. it can take some time um, and I can't wait to see what it tastes like. Maybe next year, mm. next to Lion's Share 5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be a pretty interesting comparison. Well, Greta, this is great beer. Really enjoyed trying it. Um, we had the Bomber the other day, and once again here. Thanks for telling us about it. Will you tell us a little bit about what you've got coming up? we got quite a few things coming up. Um, seasonal right now that's hit is Punkle. It's a pumpkin pie spice dunkle. It's mm. everything you want in a nice pumpkin beer, but not too heavy because it can still be 100 degrees. Tomorrow's the first day of fall, by the way. Yeah, uh, and a dunkle, that's still, interesting. Yeah, and a dunkle, it's got that caramel, it's got all the spices you get in a pumpkin pie. Clove, and then, banana. 
Uh, the cinnamon allspice cloves, sure. And then coming into October, we are going to have our next Legendary series, which oh, okay. we're real excited about Legendaries. It's something that we make once. We give our we give our brewers creative freedom, and we tell them to go do something really fun. And so this is going to be a three-part series. We're going to release one here in the fall, and then we'll release one in the spring, and then we'll release another one next fall. And all three of them are meant to go together. Um, they are going to be like a series. It has to do with the three sisters of the fates, if anybody knows that story. Oh, okay. It's a birth, life, and death. Um, the first one coming out is going to be a bourbon barrel-aged barley wine. Uh, the second one is going to be a white wine, barrel-aged wheat wine, which I get real tongue-tied on. Yeah, white yeah, wine, wheat a, wine. Uh, little, little W's right there. <laughs> and then our third one is going to be a rye, barrel-aged rye wine. And we're real excited about the three of those coming together. I encourage people to get enough to be able to try them all together as the, as the series progresses because they're going to be amazing next to each other. That's awesome. So that's very creative. I like how you always kind of have these backstories to all the beers that y'all make. Y'all don't just go in there and brew something. We're telling a meaning. story with our beer for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, we love that. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Well, Greta, as always, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for bringing these wonderful glasses, this oh. wonderful beer on tap. Uh, if you're not able to make it to the tap nights or the pint night tonight, um, be sure to go down to Local Boys or wherever else they may be located. Get yourself a bottle. Get two and store one, you know, age it for a little bit and you can get all the complexities of the beer. But for now, I think we're going to go ahead and sit back and enjoy the rest of this. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Skull, you guys. Skull. Skull.